that was actually a life-changing moment because I got to carry a piano with a whole bunch of natives. And I, you know, affectionately, I called us the black drop because the, the real drama was happening over there, you know, with the, with the, with the masters who got us to carry the piano. And it's like, we were kind of like these naive sort of languid brown people carrying pianos and begging for tobacco. And so I was like, wow, that's weird. I had to kind of pretend to be this like really sexy guy who wore silk underwear and, you know, had no problems with chains and whips and stuff. Um, and, you know, that was kind of like the, I was not confident in that way at all. So I had to really act. Intellectually, I was not keen on the film being made even, and I read the book. And the book is set in the town where I'm from. So I was like, oh, no, I don't want these icons to be immortalized cinematically um, for all time. And that's exactly what happened. You never would have known that at the time. That was torturous. That was a tough gig, man. That was really tough. I had a really hard time in that movie. I, I didn't agree with so many things about it which is a shame because there were so many good things about it. I kind of was aware at a young age that I was kind of messed up and it's going to take time for me to sort of figure things out. And so I think, um, yeah, I think uh, The Dark Horse is really, or Genesis, it was really that defining moment. That's that movie.